Welcome ladies and gentlemen, Gorhamian here with Misfit Studios as always, and today I'm going to be showing you how to edit and change different fonts, that way you can make your own logo type using Inkscape. Alright, to start off with, of course, let's go ahead and get rid of that page border. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab our text tool, and we're going to just go ahead and put in our text. Of course, we're going to be using um, just the uh, logo type word for this. Let's go ahead and open our text menu, our text and fonts, and we're actually going to be using Brussels. So we're going to go ahead and click apply on that. So understanding what a logo type is, is if you take a specific font or um, even if you sketch one out, you know, by hand and then upload it that way, you can trace it using, you know, like your Bazier pen. Um, and then you can, you know, make it your own. That's basically what we're doing here is we're taking an existing font or a font that you've, you know, created yourself and, you know, you're going to give it a little bit of a twist. Um, and then you're going to be using that in a logo. That way you're not using, you know, a basic font in a logo, depending on if you're going to be making, making it for yourself, if you're going to be making it for a client, it just depends on, you know, what you're going to be doing with it. So today we're actually going to be using, you know, the Brussels fonts, so what's a, you know, pre-generated or a it's already a, a made font, and so we're actually going to make sure that our font is highlighted. We're going to go up to path and then object to path. And what that's going to do is it's going to give us the ability to um, select these nodes and change a lot of these things within this font. <clears throat> I like the look of the Brussels, but I'm not a huge fan of the way how they're, how each individual letter is actually separated. I'm wanting something a little bit more streamlined and a little bit more um, script-like. So let's go ahead and highlight this one here. And all we're going to do is simply just grab these nodes and move those in just to give it the illusion that it's all one continuous pen stroke. There we go. We've got all of our um, pen strokes kind of added together. Um, we didn't do a whole lot of, you know, changing and editing on this. And so it's going to be super simple to do. <clears throat> and now, of course, you can actually go ahead and, you know, add in all your other um, shapes, all your other colors. If you want to, you know, do um, some backgrounds and that kind of thing on these, you can, you know, make it your own. Have fun with it. Um, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. Gorhamian here with Misfit Studios, as always. And of course, if you guys like what we're doing here at Misfit Studios and what we're doing here on Inkscape with Inkscape, please leave a comment down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and we will see you guys next time.